Hey there everybody, it's Ira, and I am picking up pretty much where I left off last time. Uh, gonna be doing some exploring. It's been a few days since I last recorded, but I am pretty much just jumping right back in here. Uh, I think my priorities are still basically the same. That is to say, oh hello, oh hello, oh hello, oh hello. Yes, did it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the baby there, because they don't give you anything. Let's get our first little bits of red meat here. Because that feels right. Oh, yeah. Alright, no, no reason not to grab that when it appears. There's another one down there. I'm not gonna try and go down there. Okay, um, so yeah, this is probably gonna be a very, uh, heavily edited episode. Because I'm just exploring right now. Right now, just exploring. I have got tons of flame. I'm not gonna keep grabbing it. Um... Right now, it's all basically about looking for more ruins, finding some clay, uh, and hopefully some more storage, so that means uh, some reeds, and uh, maybe some, oh that's beautiful, maybe some linen sacks, if I find some of those in some farming vessels. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of just sort of climbing up on hills, looking around. It's dark right now, which does make it harder, especially since uh, I am recording this at night, and uh, it's dark in general. Actually, I suppose that's probably a good thing, because otherwise there would be glare, right? We don't want glare. Glare is bad. Um, so as I'm exploring here, I'll, I'll do a lot of cutting between between interesting stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of keep heading out. As you can see in the top right there, we're getting to be quite a ways away from spawn, from the base. Um, but I'll basically keep going until I'm running real, real low on food, and then I'll run back. We'll cook up some more, some more delicious nums, and then I'll carry on. Oh, I do believe we have a ruin here. We do. That is definitely cobblestone. What are you? You're a fox. I don't care. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, oh dear, got quite a bit of uh, copper in the way. All right, this one will have. Get my shovel here. Oh, I'm running low on shovel, aren't I? So we'll have something in here. By the way, while I'm digging this out a little bit here, um, some thoughts, some notes. I had been uh, noticing between this world and the other world that I've been playing. Oh, 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 dang. I don't have any sticks. I don't have any sticks to make another shovel, and there's no trees around here. I'm going to have to do this with my hands. All right. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Everything is going horribly wrong. Oh, there it is. Uh, that's a farming vessel. Oh, please have better storage. Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, well, that's something. That's something for sure. We got some cabbage seeds, which is pretty good. We got anything else? No, that's it. Don't think this is enough. We need 24, right? Yeah, no, it's not enough. Okay, that's all that this one has. Um, yes. Can't put these down, can I? No, I can't. Dang it. I might just throw them on the ground. Well, let's let's throw these. I definitely don't need these. I don't think I need these either, but I'll keep them for now. Um, I have been noticing uh, in this world and my other world, the other world I've put in a lot of hours now. I, I've been kind of doing my research, testing things out. I've, I've got a nice little base. I may even do a video where I show off that base at some point, just because I put a lot of work into it. It feels worth sharing. Um, but I noticed after going many, many tens of thousands of blocks, I only keep seeing the same ruins over and over again. The same, there's like seven or eight simple ruins that I find over and over again. And it's not just because some things are buried under the snow. I've taken that into consideration. Um, I just had a feeling like all the good ruins just weren't spawning. I wasn't finding any of like the nice little village areas. I wasn't finding any of the real big ones, uh, except for that sort of arena looking one, which only has two vessels in it. Um, and it was getting a little frustrating. Was, none of the ones that I was finding had basements. And before you say, you can dig under... No, I know where you can dig. I do know where you can dig. I appreciate people trying to help me out. Um, but I, I do know which ruins have basements at this point. Uh, or at least I know which ones definitely don't have basements. And to test my theory that there was something up, I made a new world. Um... A new snowball world, just like this one, with all the same settings as this one. And I jumped into creative mode, and I just went 
in a straight line, more or less, with the map, using the map, I hit every single ruin that came up for about 15,000 blocks, okay? That is a long ways. I'm running over here to grab a stick from this tree so I can make another shovel. Um, it was, it took me about three hours, I would say. Uh, I was digging up every single ruin I could find, and not just a little bit, but I was completely digging up everything. So, make a shovel here. I, I would dig out every single little bit of the, the ruin and break through the center in case there's anything hidden and dig a couple tiles underneath in case there's anything underneath. And I established, um, after all those hours, even in creative mode, I was still only seeing the same handful of ruins that I see in this world and that I've seen in other uh, my other snowball world. So... There seems to be something up with that, and I was like, okay, well, one possibility is there's something up with the ruin generation in general. Another possibility is that it's somehow tied to the biome, and to the temperature, to the climate. So I made another new world, which was kind of the complete opposite. I made it uh, super hot and also super wet. So it made like a jungle world, uh, which was fun. It did spawn mostly jungle, which was pretty cool. Um, immediately, I found a huge uh, village ruin with a whole bunch of different buildings, most of which had basements. And then I did a little kind of, again, I jumped into creative mode and I buzzed around a little bit. And again, I found tons and tons and tons of ruins of a completely different type than I find here. So I tried jumping into the, the JSON files, um, which you use to, to configure things and seeing if I could find some information about the rules for spawning for the different ruins. And I didn't really find anything. I found rules about which ones were common and uncommon, but I couldn't find anything about climate taking into consideration. So either it's in the code itself, or I just missed something in the JSON files, or it's a bug. And I don't know which it is. I've posted on the Vintage Story forums asking for a bit of help. I haven't got a response yet. Um, if anybody watching this knows what's up, uh, and either knows how to change it or can confirm that it can't be changed without going into the actual game code, please do let me know. Uh, I would really appreciate that because it really kind of stinks <laughs> to only get the same handful of not very good ruins everywhere I go. This is a beautiful area, by the way. I want to I take a moment. That is a beautiful area. Uh, so yeah, so that's a little a little disappointing. It seems like the jungles, for whatever reason, have better ruins than the frozen snowball world. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I can find, but it does seem like I'm not gonna find basements. I'm not gonna find the real, real nice ruins. And even, I, even in that creative uh, world that I made, I even, um, hey babies, where's your parents? I wanna eat them. Oh, here's your parents. No, 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 don't go under the water. Ah, oh. go this way, go this way. We're gonna, we're gonna hunt some wabbits. I know they're hares, but they feel like rabbits, you know? Um, <laughs> go, go, go. So I interrupted myself yet again. I lost track of what I was saying. Uh, oh yes, uh, in that creative world, I also went down into the caves and I kind of went through cave systems, uh, again, in creative mode. And I took, I put on no clip and I tried searching just underground in general. And I also found considerably fewer, um, I'm not going to bother breaking that, uh, considerably fewer underground ruins, like basically almost none. I think I found two after going for thousands of blocks and I've seen other people doing YouTube series. I know I don't do much caving, but I've seen other people making YouTube videos and finding tons and tons of underground ruins. So something seems to be tied to the climate for whatever reason. Um, and it, it just is gonna make this little challenge that much harder. I can't tell if that's a ruin over there or just a bush. I gotta go and see, and then I'm gonna kinda probably head back, cause I've gone quite a ways now. We'll take a different route back. I think that's just bushes, actually. Uh, I will take a different route back so I can find anything else that's out there. But, uh, yeah. Not, not been the most useful trip so far. Those are just leaves, aren't they? Those are just leaves! Aw, oh, aw, oh, dang. Aw, oh, beans. Aw, <laughs> oh, beans, just leaves. Alright, let's just take a quick peek over here. 
And, uh... Chalk sand! Okay. 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 We got chalk, though. There is chalk in this area, and we need to remember that. Because I am gonna need chalk in the future. I don't have any way to dig it up right now, and that's definitely granite. So it's definitely over here. Maybe over there? Maybe it's just a small area. I'm not sure. Not sure. Chalk gravel. Okay, so at least right here. Um... I'm gonna have to make a mental note of those coordinates and maybe just try to remember how I got here So from here I will head back and I think I do yeah, I do see some chalk down there. That looks like chalk sweet Okay, I'm gonna head back now I'm gonna make a mental note. I'm not gonna write down the coordinates part of this challenge is just sort of wanting to be immersed in the game. Yeah, there's more over there. Okay wanting to be immersed in the game and wanting to um, so a thousand, okay, a thousand to the east. That's easy enough. And if I head south from that point, I'll be all set. So more chalk gravel, okay. Uh, yeah, just just kind of feeling like I'm in the world rather than thinking of it as just a series of like points and lines. But like, okay, that was next to that, and I went that way, and then I went around that hill, and that was the mountain that I saw from there. You know, just like how I would navigate in real life in the real world. Um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, and again, if you've never tried playing that way, if you're so used to using maps and mini-maps and things that it feels crazy or scary or whatever, I'm telling you, just give it a shot. I'm telling you, it is, uh, it is worth trying, even if you wind up not liking it, just to kind of get a different perspective on the game world. Because you do, you do wind up, out of necessity, feeling like you're more in the world, more immersed in the world, rather than just kind of looking at uh, a system of coordinates or whatever, so... Anyway, I'll shush about that now. Don't worry. <laughs> I know I keep going on about it. Uh, but I'm going to slowly make my way back and I'll let you, you folks know if I see anything else interesting along the way. Oh, and we have another ruin. I barely even... <laughs> I just paused the recording and here we are. Uh, so this one right here has a food vessel up at the top and I believe that's the only... Ooh, okay, we're still in the chalk area. I might not even have to go that far to get chalk. That's awesome. Um... This one has a food vessel at the top, which I'm not going to bother with right now. However, it also has a ton of dirt. So I am going to take all of this dirt uh, and take that back with me. Because we've already seen how important dirt is going to be in this little playthrough. We need it for so much. We need it for growing our crops. We also need it for making grass. Although now that I've got the first uh, few pieces of grass, it's actually it's going to be a lot less worrisome. Let's just block that off there. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of dirt in this particular ruin, which I appreciate. And um, I could try to make a mental note of where this ruin is to come back for the food later, but honestly, I'm probably not going to because it's just going to be a handful of grain, which even if properly processed, a handful of grain is not going to get me very much uh, nutrition or saturation in the end. So I might just leave it, honestly. Uh, but I will take this dirt. Dirt is something I am super after. For sure. There's one more piece up at the top. I really, like I said, I really know these ruins pretty well at this point. I have spent so much time now. I don't know, maybe I'll just break it. And I'll just eat it on the way. It's only flax, anyway. Flax is delicious. But it's not very nutritious. All right, that's west, south. Um, I came from that way. Yes, and there is a trader over here. So let's go and take a peek at this. Let's go say hello to this new friend and uh, see what kind of stuff they have. And again, I'm not gonna like write down a list or anything. If any of you folks want to write down a list and see how well I remember, you're welcome to do that. But I'm not likely to make use of the traders for a long time anyway, so mostly I just want to go see what type of trader this is. Is it one that is going to be really useful to me and I'm going to want to remember it, or is it just going to be, you know, an artisan or whatever? Building materials. Okay, building materials is useful, because this one will sometimes sell oak logs, and also it will, I will sometimes sell fire bricks, I believe, which is important. Got plaster as well. Uh, fire bricks will be important because we won't be able to make glass or iron without fire bricks. And since there's no clay in the world, that's going to be our only source of clay. Is that, and then the commodities trader will sell stacks of just raw fire clay. Because I modded that in for that to happen. <laughs> okay, so I will kind of try to make a mental note. 
Again, I'm keeping track of landmarks. So this is close to this big thing here. And if I just go in a straight line north from this thing, I will eventually hit some other landmark. Uh, and I'll just kind of increase my, my mental map of the world. I'm having a good time, folks. I hope you're having a good time, too. Borax. I keep finding Borax bits, folks. I'm pretty sure Borax is one of the many things... Orcs. It's one of the many things in this game that does not have a use. Correct. It does not have a use. I don't understand why we have so many things in the game that the, the developers clearly put a lot of time into making and implementing, except they don't have use at all. Can't use them for anything. There's all kinds of ores as well that don't have any use. These are foxes, right? Those are foxes. Uh, so it's foggy right now. I've come from uh, from that way. Uh, there was that big ruin, and then there was the NPC to the south. I kind of went north, and there's this kind of rotted sort of area where there's a lot of water. Maybe a warmer area. And then up here, it's foggy, and it's kind of hard to see, but out of the corner of our eye, we can see there's a huge mountain. So I'm going to head for that mountain. And that's going to be kind of the next waypoint. It's kind of like, and, and you know, I, I may be aging myself, maybe dating myself a little bit here. Um... But it's kind of like back in the old days before everyone had a smartphone. And since I still don't have a smartphone, for me, this is still the way I do things. When someone, you know, instead of just giving you the address to a place, they'd be like, oh, it's okay. You know, you, you go uh, three blocks. Ooh, that's that's not a ruin. That's just, oh, that's very cool. Uh, you know, go, go three blocks down that street towards that landmark. And then when you get to the corner store, uh, then you stop and you take a right. And if you get to the big clock, you've gone too far. So it's one street before the big clock. And you know, that's how we used to navigate back in the old days. <laughs> that is how we used to navigate. There is coal up there that I might want to keep in mind. There is coal up there. This is a really nice formation. And the, uh, the fog is clearing up now so we can actually see it. So when I get here, I'm going to want to head kind of south and a little bit west. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We've got some ruins over here. Or at least one. Let's go take a peek at this and see what we can find. I feel like this one... Oh, which one is this? Is this the one with the ore vessel or is this the one with the forage vessel? That's going to be the ore vessel. Yep. Well, I'll take the dirt. As per usual, I'll take the dirt. I think there's a little bit more dirt in here. Maybe not. That might be the only one. Might be some under here. Is it worth looking? Probably not. It's probably not going to be anything. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one more. And there's the bony soil, which is... Oh, I've got a full stack of dirt. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's drop the ice. Don't need the ice. And don't need this snow either. I'm trying to take that one single piece of low fertility soil off. It's like that. Yeah, okay, there is more under here. Grab the few pieces of soil that are here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to touch the bony soil because I uh, can't do anything with it as far as I can tell. It's a decoration block. I don't need decoration blocks right now. I need practical, useful items. All right. Oh, no, it's foggy again. All right. Um, I actually need to head west further, so I might... There may have been more ruins out here, but I can't see. I can't see through the fog, so I'm going to head back to a waypoint that I know I'm going to be able to find later, which is these mountains, and then turn back north again. And I'll tell you what, folks, I seem to have settled in just the foggiest possible place. I went straight north from that mountain until I noticed... Where are you going? Hey. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I still don't need to breathe. We can uh, stay underwater forever, by the way. In case you are wondering... Oh, I'm still slow in the water. Uh, No, 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 fox. No, 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 fox. That's my rabbit. I need to get the killer. It won't have any meat in it. There we go. Um, yeah, so I went straight, I uh, hit some water, it was too foggy to see anywhere. Fortunately, it seems like the fog is lifting now, but, as you may have noticed behind me there, uh, I did spot... There's an NPC trader. Oh, look at that! There's a good ruin right there! That's actually a ruin that I have not seen in the Frozen Worlds at all. So that is promising. Let's take a look, see what kind of trader we got here. Vlad the Furniture Trader. Okay, Furniture Trader's probably not going to be very useful. 
Normally I'd say it's useful to be able to sell the glass to them, but I'm not gonna be able to make glass very easily because it uses fire bricks, which I can't get. So basically this is a useless trader, which we can ignore. However, we can see that's the big mountain right there. Now that the fog has cleared, let's go take a look at this ruin. And then there's another one up there. There's foxes just all over the place, littered with foxes. This place is, that's another ruin over there. Okay, I have not seen this one yet. So that, again, it's very promising. It's just food. Um, I've got some stuff I can drop if I need to. Let's just grab it. Uh, I can draw, let's drop the andesite stones. I don't need the andesite stones. And this one may actually have a basement. I don't know. I don't actually know this ruin very well because it's not one of the ones that always pops up. So we're going to clear away the snow here, which we usually do because otherwise the layers drop down. You get a break them eventually. They're very annoying, I gotta say. Uh, and we'll just kind of pick away at this. I don't know if there's going to be anything else in this one, but it is definitely worth looking. Because if you can find one with a basement, the reason I'm so preoccupied with basements, if you're not aware, is because basements have better loot than the above ground vessels. The above ground vessels typically don't really have much of anything good. The luckiest thing I can find in an above ground vessel right now would be a whole bunch of clay or a whole bunch of reeds. Uh, so to get through, we'll just break, well, we'll break the snow first because that's faster. The fact that we're seeing, uh, dancing, dance, dance, dance. Um, all right, well, we can break this. I, I, I don't want to lose it. However, if we bop down here a little bit, we can look through and we can see that there's not a basement. No basement in this one. It is a shame, but that is the way of it. Uh, I'll just leave that sandstone down there. I don't really need to worry about it. That is a nice ruin though. And it's good to know that there's some sandstone down here. Oh, it's foggy again. I'm starting to wonder if maybe, uh, maybe the ruin issue is tied not to temperature, but humidity. Maybe more humid areas have, <laughs> maybe more humid areas have, uh, more ruins. Maybe it's not to do with the temperature because I think the other frozen world I've been playing in is quite dry, or at least the areas that I've been in are quite dry. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's the explanation. There was another one this way. Oh, it's so foggy. The problem with the uh, humid areas, of course, is that it's so dang foggy. Can't see, can't see anything. I don't want to go in anything other than a straight line, but I definitely saw, there it is. Definitely saw ruins digging up. This might be another of the same one that we just saw. Let's go. Is that more ruins? Or no, that's, that's bushes there. Okay, this is a different one. We don't have an exposed ore vessel, so hopefully there will be one underground. Uh, I have found one type of ruin where it seems not to have any vessels whatsoever, which is a little frustrating, but only one. Everything else that I've found has had at least one. I'm trying to remember what this ruin is like. I am pretty sure that I've seen it before, but uh, again, it's not one that I've seen a lot. Oh, don't want to waste my shovel on that there. Okay, there's the vessel right there. Okay, yeah, I have I have been to this one. That's a seed vessel. All right, all right, we can we can do this. Um, I can just eat some. No, <laughs> no. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll get rid of the ladders. It's the ladders. I don't need the ladders. Do not need the ladders. So many bones in this soil here. Get this. And then we'll break this, and I'm pretty sure this is the only vessel in this particular ruin. So what was I gonna- I was gonna toss the ladders. Don't need that. There we go, what do we got? We got rice seeds. Cool. Um, there seems to be something else under over there. Is there another ruin? I, th I feel like this one comes hand in hand with another one. Oh, and there's another one up there as well. Maybe I'll come through the ice down here. So that's actually pretty easy to dig through just with your bare hands. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Slippery ice, I hate it. I don't like all the slips in and the slides in. Okay, that might actually be nothing. That might just be... Um, this is this is the end here. Oh, I just slow dig through the hands. Yeah, I think that's just the hill, basically. Yeah, that's just snow. All right, so we'll leave that. I'm pretty sure there's no more vessels here. That's just ice. Okay, yeah, let's go. 
Let's just go. I did see another one up here. There's that there. We can still see that. Good. So again, trying to bounce from uh, location to location that I can actually remember. We, we've got a whole row of ruins here. A whole row of them. Let's see what we can find. Another seed vessel. Hmm. I'm starting to get a little tight on space, but let's see what we got. Maybe it's something I already have. It was just more uh, rice seeds. Okay, good. Got more rice seeds. Now we can head to this one. This one will have... Oh, there's a few different sort of wall segments like this. One of them has an ore vessel. One of them has... A, this one doesn't have the tool vessel. That's a different one. And one of them has a forage vessel. I'll be real happy if this has got the forage vessel. I think it does. Nope. Nope. This is the ore vessel. Alright, that's useless to me right now. So again, I'll just take the dirt. Move along. And we got another one here. They are all clustered together, at least. That's handy. This one has... Tool Vessel. These are risky, because usually they're just more flint tools, which I don't need. Sometimes you get- oh yeah, there's a copper one in there. So what kind of copper tool is it? It's a pick! <gasps> Folks! Friends. Good friends of mine. We got a copper pick. Um, I'm gonna dump the bones, so that I can keep my knife. And, uh, there was a full shovel. I'll grab the full shovel. I think I'll keep everything else I have. That is a game changer, folks. We have a pick already. That's amazing. I'm almost tempted to go back down and grab some of that chalk so I can start making mortar. Um, but I think I'll hold off. Uh, let's get back. I need to get back now because my inventory is super full. So again, I'm heading straight north. Bouncing from landmark to landmark, and if I get up to, uh, I'm actually not that far. If I get up to a north-south measurement of zero, then I will turn to the left and head west. Woo, slippery slidey. Uh, until I make it back home, basically. There's, oh, there's one right there. I may have already got this one, though. Because we're getting pretty close. To, uh, to home base there. And matter of fact, I think, I think I saw this one with you folks in the last episode while I was heading out. I do believe so. Yeah, this one has been looted already, so from here I know exactly how to get home. So now I have a route, folks. I know where the clay is. Uh, not the clay, the, um, yeah, the chalk. I know where the chalk is, because if I go south from here until I see those, and then cross the water, and then I see the mountains, and then I know which way to go. It's fun. I love it. Let's, uh, let's get back home real, real quick and cook up this red meat. So we're just about home, but I want to grab this hair first, which I happened upon on the way. They are so fast. <laughs> there hasn't been anything to stop it yet, but once it gets up to that snow up there, I can grab it. Again, for whatever reason, if there is a snow block with a snow layer on top of it, they can't seem to jump over it. It's probably a bug, but honestly, I hope it doesn't get fixed, because without it, I'd pee. It would be a lot harder to, to stay alive. So let's grab one more, maybe even two more pieces of red meat, depending. Let's find out. See what we got here, and then we'll go and see if any of the crops have grown. And I'm pretty much out of time on this episode already. So, man, I really do wish I'd found at least a little bit of clay, though. Uh, the clay that I need, the first clay that I find will be used uh, to make a clay pot and bowl for food, so I can get much more saturation out of the uh, meat, the red meat at least. Um, oh, wow. There's, there's a lot there. Okay, um, I still have these hairs here as well. Goodness, I got a lot of food now. Oh, there's plenty of grass now, which is great. I'm just gonna go ahead and put down, uh, eight of these, just to clear up an inventory slot. Unfortunately, I am just two pieces of cattail away from being able to make a storage thing. Oh, actually, I need that. I can drop that. Actually, got some firewood right here. I may not need that. Uh, yeah, that'll be a game changer right there once I'm able to make a basket. But we did find a pick, which is pretty huge. That is a very rare find. Almost always you just get some, you know, stone shovels or maybe stone knives. Maybe if you're real lucky, you might get a stone axe. And on an extremely rare occasion, uh, you can get, um, like a, a bronze scythe or whatever. But this time... We did real good. I've got three cabbage seeds here. 
One, two, three, perfect. So that frees up another slot. I should figure out the pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are gonna be tough because they need a lot of room to grow, but I can set up an area for the rice seeds pretty easily. I'll probably do that between episodes uh, and just kind of get my, my food stash all sorted away here. Uh, I am gonna probably leave some of the meat in the campfire for a while because once you pick it up, oh, this is already, this is already spoiled. Let's uh, eat as much of that as I can. That's a shame. Uh, it doesn't, meat doesn't last long, but if you leave it in the campfire, it's considered in the world, so you get that basically living in a freezer bonus to the parish ability, so that'll last for ages. Uh, maybe I'll just make another fire pit since I've got plenty of grass now and cook the red meat in that and do the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'll do a little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of tidying in between this episode and next. And, uh, yeah, still on the same quest, still haven't found any clay. So again, the clay that we need, if anyone wants to keep score at home how much I need, or if anyone wants to calculate how much I need, I need, first of all, enough for a uh, clay pot and a clay bowl. Uh, the clay bowl is only one piece. I think the clay pot is three pieces, I'm trying to remember, of, uh, of clay. Then I need enough for a uh, hammer mold. You have to have a hammer to blacksmith. Um, and enough for a um, crucible. Go ahead and do this now. I need I need a hammer mold, a crucible, and an anvil mold, and that's all I need from clay. And then uh, oh, actually, and some ingot molds. At least one ingot mold. And when I did it in the other world, I think it ended up coming to a total of something like forty-five pieces of clay, or something like that with the anvil mold obviously taking the most. Um, so I will need to find some clay, still no clay, and uh, it would be great if I could find just two more cattails, because then I could make a, a reed basket, and then I could actually put stuff down instead of having to fill my inventory all the time. Uh, but anyway, we're definitely out of time. Thank you all so much for joining me. Again, I will be pre-recording probably the next few episodes. Um, and a little, a little, uh, a little, sort of sneak peek, a little sort of uh, teaser, a little sort of hype. Uh, I'm already starting to plan. I am still, I'm, I'm big into this one. I'm going to finish this one. Uh, but I'm already starting to plan my next challenge, which I am going to start when 1.12 comes out. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tell you folks what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a jungle world. Um, it's going to be a jungle world with the weather and everything. And I am not going to use the map again. However, I am going to use the mini-map, so just the mini-map up in the top right corner, but I can't open the big map to get a look at the broader surroundings. Uh, partly because it just won't be as useful in the jungle. Uh, partly because I'm going to build stuff and I want it to show up on the map. However, 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 double however, what a twist again, I'm not going to use the coordinates. So I'll be able to have the map, uh, the mini-map, but no coordinates so that... Um, if I get lost, I'm gonna be well and truly lost. That's basically the plan. I wanna see what it's gonna be like if I actually get lost in this game. So that's the plan. Look forward to that, very exciting. I'm excited. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me and I guess I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, it's me, Ira. Hey, I have been pretty sick. Uh, so no, no real special video ends for now until I'm filling up for it. You'll just get this one every time. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, thank you very much to my patrons right there. They're, they're great. Uh, if you would like to support me and get some nice rewards that start at just a dollar, check out my patreon.com slash itsmeirelee, and uh, see you next time.